So, this truck here might have some issues. Change the oil, and you can see that or not. That is a lot of metal. It's, it's magnetic, so it's ferrous. That probably could be a good thing. It's not bearing material. And this is only like a quarter of what came out of this thing. This whole bottom of my catch pan had a good amount of oil. Cut open the filter. There wasn't anything in there. So it wasn't getting through the screen. And it seemed like it was basically just on the bottom of the pan and not the uh, never not really floating around still runs perfect no noises, no knocks there's really nothing on the end of this stick looks pretty clean the oil that came out was not metallic at all <sighs> this is a flat type of can camshaft could be wearing and we're gonna might take off little valve covers to see if the uh, push rods are turning that's a good indication that oil is. you take your valve covers off and then the push rods underneath here when you run it they they will um this over here they will rotate unlike a roller cam they won't <sighs> it's a lot of work though. Had these off a couple times. You gotta take the alternator, just move it out of the way. It's dumb. And your that sensor bracket. And I think that's it. I think that might have to go to the EVAP solenoid. Not EVAP UGR. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, dude, new. Sucks. That's how many chain can be wearing too. It's been original and it has a hundred and what is it? Hundred and forty eight thousand miles. Got a leak over there again for the intake. Nice. Nice. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. If it does 350. Hmm. Well, what will cause that? It's probably you're working on taking these covers off. At least I'll know that uh, a lifter didn't go flat. The cam did. Still runs fine. No missing, no shaking, nothing as different than what it used to. However. Whatever how it used to run. Yeah. Moisture. I don't know. Oh, this bracket has to come off too. Might do that. <laughs> Alright, last video. I'm explaining what I found. And now, as a diagnosis measure, had that cover off. Old push rod's been nice. Take the alternator out, sucks. And the belt and all that, and you put back together to run it. This is the passenger side. I just ran this thing, but I'm not gonna make a video because this thing makes too much noise. And all the push rods spin. So that indicates that the, uh, the lifters are not flat. I want to see a little piece of crap right there. I don't even know. So much chunk. Um, but yeah, just kind of run. And you look at your push rods, which are kind of hard to see, but they're behind those rockers. If they rotate on a flat tablet engine, then they are good. It's a good tip. Doesn't work on a roller engine though. Kind of, eh, you can't even see, but down there, there is a flat tablet lifter. Yep, yep, yep. I'm almost thinking that chain is worn. I don't know. That'll be the next thing. We got a chain for this. Never put it on. And the springs. Put those on a while ago. The valve stem seals. 
<clears throat> anyway, let me get this thing back together. Do some more thinking. Still runs great. 